This is Kevin Brooks, University of Illinois Extension, looking at a field being planted in the soybeans with the corn stalks uh, still in place, and the farmer here is going to tell us uh, what's going on. Well, hi, I'm uh, Phil Crawford, and here what I'm doing right now is what's called turbo tilling. So it's a vertical till um, toolbar made from Great Plains. It's a turbo till, 40 foot bar, that uh, will go through and kind of dice up the residue and mix up a little bit so we're not really disturbing much the ground we're opening it up a little bit chopping into ground some helping ground conditions warm up a little bit and hopefully make it good shape for the planter to come through here in a couple days um, pulling it with a uh, an old cat challenger i think it's a uh, early 90s cat challenger we just put the uh, guidance in it this fall so or this spring pretty big upgrade in that so um, Got the uh, tracks on there to help kind of reduce our compaction layer we'll be putting out in the springtime. And that's the nice thing with this bar that we're running here, being all vertical tillage, there's no compaction layer underneath it. it slices in and just opens up and kind of gets things fit without doing any damage. So if you uh, look out at the field where it's getting worked, it does not look pretty. You know, it doesn't look as pretty as what you would see from a guy that's running a cultivator across it and turning it flat. We leave a lot more residue behind, and you can see some stalks still standing. That is happening because when the wind is blowing, push the stalks over a certain direction, and it just so happens that the direction I'm driving is the direction that the stalks are getting blown over. So I'm not incorporating them as much, but I'm incorporating all of the residue that's lying around it and leaving those stalks standing there to help mitigate any wind erosion we could be having in the future. So it looks like you're skipping. It lo looks like I'm skipping, but if you go to the other side, it looks like I'm skipping the opposite way. So it's, it's, it's deceiving the way you look at it. It doesn't look like you're doing much, but if you kind of go out and you kick around a little bit, you can see you're doing a good job of seed bed preparation. What are some of the challenges to leaving so much of the um, stalks out into the field in the spring? Um, a, a lot of the issues we see are feeding through the planter. You know, that, that messing with the planter, pulling cables off your planter. If you have too tall of stalks out there, residue not feeding through as well, plugging up the planter. Um, another problem guys have seen is leave too much residue out there. And when you spray your burn down chemicals, not as much getting surface contact to have your uh, residual sure. out there. So. We found if you spray it and incorporate it, we have a better chance of getting our residual to actually work for us. And on the, the positive side, you're retaining moisture and reducing erosion? Yes. Okay.